right, guys, we have been learning more as educators in a short period of time due to this distance learning. And I want to give you guys an opportunity to work smarter, not harder. How many of us have spent hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars on Teachers Pay Teachers in the past? Um, these wonderful educators have wonderful products and we're used to or we've ingrained some of that in our yearly curriculum. Now, because we're at a distance learning or a hybrid learning, you don't have to start from scratch. There are some wonderful Teachers Pay Teachers products that are made digitally um, and have more interactive pieces, but you can use what you have already saved. So today I'm going to show you how to take a traditional Teachers Pay Teachers, say it's a worksheet or an activity, and make it useful on Seesaw. It's easier than you would think due to these new updates that Seesaw rolled out. But what I do wanna say is make sure that you read the product's terms of use to make sure that um, using it as a digital product does not go against its terms of use. Most um, sellers have updated their terms of use to allow digital use for classroom purposes only. This means if you have a Seesaw for Schools or if you're just very giving, make sure that once you digitalize these products, do not share them with anyone but yourself. Um, I'm giving you the shortcut to do it, so just make sure that you guys are being um, honorable in what you are, how are you using it, not giving it to the district library, um, anything like that. It's just for you and your personal use. But hopefully this will save you some time and a lot of headache because we're all trying to figure out new things, new tips and tricks. Um, so let's use what we have and I will help you get it started. All right, let's go. All right, this is going to blow your mind and be a total game changer. And you might be thinking after you watch this video, why didn't I think of that? Or maybe you have an awesome, but all of these virtual and digital resources and movable pieces and all of these activities don't have to be as in depth um, or complicated as we're making them out to be. Of course they can be. That's always fun. Or you can find resources that are already made for you. But a lot of us already have resources we use in the classroom from Teachers Pay Teachers. And with a little manipulation, we can go ahead and transfer those activities to um, Seesaw. Now, I do want to say that in making any TPT resource digital for your own purpose or your classroom use, you need to read the terms of use of the TPT seller and make sure that this is um, goes along with their terms of use. Most have updated them to allow digital resources for own your own classroom use, but make sure when you create activities like this that you are not sharing to district district libraries or on Facebook um, if they include a paid for Teachers Pay Teachers resource, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a template for student response. And I'm gonna upload one of my Teachers Pay Teachers resources. So I'm gonna click from computer and this is gonna be a PDF. Now before, students could not interact with PDFs. Um, they could record their voice, but they couldn't do, use the creative tools on PDFs. Now they can and the opportunities to work with this are endless. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna look for my Teachers Pay Teachers resource. And you can see right here that it's gray. So it looks like you can't use it, but you can. And so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to open that activity. Okay, now I have uploaded my document from Teachers Pay Teachers. I deleted any pages that I didn't need, like a cover page or a terms of use page. Um, my students don't need that. So I only picked the pages that I need. Now, if there was a page you wanted to delete, say like down here, I want to delete this page, I would just click on that page, dot, 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 delete page. 
and then it's gone. So any pages you don't need, you would just delete from the sidebar. Now I'm going to show you how to create your buttons for students um, to hyperlink within your activity to different pages or activities. Just kidding. I'm going to link the tutorial video on hyperlinking within Seesaw in the description below. Okay. Um, this activity right here is a simple Teachers Pay Teachers activity, um, has no fancy movable fe features or anything like that. Students have a word bank, and I know sometimes it interferes with uh, these writing tools, but they can go through and they can either type or write the words based on the word bank, and then they can cross it off. So if I'm right here, can say I'm using red, I can cross that off and copy it, C, A, T. Now, there is definitely the need to still have pen to paper interaction. Um, I think that is invaluable and so important. Um, but in the meantime, while we're making things work with blended and distance learning, this is a way to make the most of your resources that students have used um, in the classroom, hard copy, and translate Teachers Pay Teachers resources to activities to use on Seesaw. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this um, alleviate some stress and anxiety uh, going around this whole situation. We're all in this together. Um, and I hope this makes things a little bit easier for you. Go ahead and um, if you found this useful, I'm working on a video series to delve into more tips and tricks on um, using the new features. So subscribe to my channel and I'm hoping to have a few more of these videos up in the next couple of weeks. All right, have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please click the red subscribe button and stay tuned for more educational technology tips and tricks.